I have covered so much stuff from this channel, I've completely lost track of how much. Whether it's something, you know, new and exciting that's filling in some unfilled space, allowing some workflow that was previously not possible, an application trying to replace some proprietary software that just didn't really have a good alternative to, and sure, some people might argue about the usefulness of some of this software, but generally, I think it's a good thing that more devs are making more cool things. Like, that's, that's just cool. But there is one type of software where every time I cover something in that class, at least one or two people are going to complain. And that is when I cover something that is trying to modernize some sort of standardized Unix or Linux software. Things like Silver Searcher or Rip Grep instead of Grep. Covering Exa or LS Color instead of LS. Or Bash Top or B Top instead of Top. Sisteroid instead of SysCTL. I've even seen some people make that complaint when I talk about NeoVim instead of talking about something like Vi or Basic Vim. And the way the argument usually goes is something like this. Why would you ever bother learning that new software when the standard software like LS, Grep, or things like that do basically everything you could ever need to do? Usually followed by saying, you can't really expect that new software to be there when you're using another system, like you SSH into a web server, like someone else's server, not your own server. You SSH into a client system, you go and use a fresh install of Linux. That software is just not going to be available, so you're much better off just learning the standard variants so that when you're using those systems, you can get your work done and then go back to doing whatever you want. And I want to make something clear. I am not here to say that that is a wrong opinion. I'm not here to say that you shouldn't be using Linux like that. You should be using all of the modern tools and not the standard tools. I think that is a totally fair complaint. But the problem is we don't agree on why we use Linux and what we are trying to get out of using the system. Obviously, there's going to be a lot of crossover here and a lot of nuance. But I think you can generally break down the way that people learn Linux and the way that people use Linux into two main groups. These are not exclusive groups. You can be in both of them. The first group is you learn Linux because you want to use Linux in a work environment. You want to turn Linux into a career in some way. The second group are people who want to learn Linux because they want to use Linux. They want to daily drive Linux, whether that's for gaming, whether that's because they like open source or FOSS, whether they just want to experience something different, they are just using Linux because they want to use Linux. So if your end goal in learning and using Linux is to get a job as a network engineer in OPSEC, to get a job as a developer, or really anything else that heavily uses Linux, I would suggest avoiding doing what I do on my system. Avoiding what someone might refer to as the trendy software, the software that isn't standardized software, but is fairly cool to use. And the reason for that is because you're probably not going to be using most of that exciting and fun software anyway. You're going to use what is standard in the industry so that everyone knows what's going on. And if you write a script using that tool, it can be used by anyone else on the team. I would say don't even really worry about the exciting and trendy Linux distros. And sure, there's a lot of really cool ones out there. But just stick with what everybody else is using. Use Ubuntu, Debian, Fedora, depending on, you know, what industry you're working in and what the job you actually want to do is actually requiring you to use. Stick with the new standard utils. Stick with systemd. Stick with sudo. Stick with git. Things that are expected to be there in, like, you know, 99% of systems. And then when there are any field-specific software that come up, obviously go and learn them then, but that's usually not going to be stuff you run into in your daily life anyway. But I don't use Linux like that, and judging by the positive reception a lot of those videos get, I think a lot of the people watching this channel don't use Linux like that either. What I do with Linux is I use Linux because I think Linux is cool. I use Linux because I want to daily drive Linux. I'm not planning to ever really work a job that heavily involves Linux. Now, what I do is kind of an exception because I've effectively turned the idea of daily driving Linux into a job by just recording what I do. But that's sort of a weird edge case not related to the actual problem here today. 
I use Linux to play games, consume media, make content, and whether you daily drive Linux or you dual boot your system, you're just using what you use. Just like people will use macOS or they use Windows. They don't use those systems with the idea in their head that they're going to get a job involving that. And because you don't have this grand goal over your head, there's no harm in just trying things out. Sure, there's no harm in sticking with the standards. There is going to be a lot of documentation and a lot of tutorials involving things like Orc and Grep and all of the other tools available on your system. But if for whatever reason, they're just not doing something you want them to do, there's no harm in trying new things out as well. Because what you're going to realize very, very quickly is things like the GNU standard tools are the GNU standard tools, not the GNU perfect tools or the GNU best tools, because there are much better implementations of things like grep that are vastly, vastly faster. And as I mentioned, there's nothing to say that you can't dabble in both sides. Maybe you want to have Linux in every aspect of your life. You want to run a Linux system while you're at home and then go to work and be a network engineer and use Linux all day there. I'm not saying that's a bad thing. If that's what you want to do with your life, more power to you. That's great. So with that in mind, it doesn't really matter what other people are running. Use what is comfortable for you, what is efficient, what is frankly just cool. Or if you want to work a job in Linux, use what everyone else is using so you know what you need to know. In my case, I just think software is cool. And I just enjoy exploring what is available out there, even if it's something that has like one star on GitHub and basically nobody has ever heard about it. It might turn out that software is actually really, really useful and is going to completely change the way I use my system. Every project out there eventually started as something that nobody knew about. So you might as well explore things if that's what you want to do with your time. Anyway, I'm not going to drag out the video. So if you like the video, remember to go and like the video. If you really like the video and you want to become one of these amazing people over here, go check out my Patreon, subscribe, Sterling Barrow Pay, linked in the description down below. I've got a podcast called Tech Over Tea. I've got a gaming channel called Brody Robinson Plays. That's going to be it for me and I'm out.